Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more What If. Today's episode is What If Ultron 1. And so last time I actually complained about how these episodes are always ending right at the most intriguing parts and I really wanted to see more from this Infinity Ultron. So I'm really, really glad we're getting this story. I don't know if it continues from last episode when he appears uh, in front of Thor or if we see how this Ultron won in his universe. I'm assuming now that yeah, he uh, came to this Thor's universe after winning in another. But uh, yeah, Infinity Ultron is going to be really fun to watch. Uh, if you want to watch the full reaction, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, take a quick moment to leave a like. It really helps with the channel. And let's get started. Whoa. God damn. He's... Oh, wow. What happened to everybody else? Pretty dead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Not cool, guys. Oh damn. Don't say it. What? Need a hand? Come on. I feel like you should know me by now. Home sweet home. Well, what's left of it anyway. So you really wow. think the secret to taking down Ultron is here? In Russia. Russia, Hawkeye. I see a suit of armor around the world. He saw Tony. a world of peace. The Avengers stole the cradle and used it to create the hero vision. <laughs> but in this universe, Ultron began to lay waste to the planet. Damn. I do this. I made you for peace. Look what Tony Stank did. We're too late. He did it. <laughs> but the wow. age of Ultron was only beginning. Whoa! And he Fast beat Thanos. Couldn't have done that in Infinity War. Wow. Wow. I see everything. Wow. A cape. I'm going to bring about peace in our time. Guardians down. Org! No. Oh. Listen, Skynet. I've seen the killer robot. Before. Skynet. I gotta say, I really don't think it needs a sequel. Could she even she not finish it? Oh, into the center of a planet. <sighs> Whoa. He destroyed a solar system to take her out. Ultron was now just a program without a purpose. The victor without a war, sentenced to spend all of eternity alone. He became aware of the... I see you. Of the Watcher. Oh! Our universe is beyond my own. <laughs> Holy shit. I... No, no. Even that machine is not as invincible as it might think. There is still hope for this universe. There is? One. In Russia? Last hope. Have you ever seen Raiders? The Lost Ark? Ever seen that? Love that movie. I'll include a link to my reaction there down in the description below. I think is the Watcher going to help them along? So, where do we start? Just pick a box. Watcher, you want to give him a nudge? Oh. Clint. Clint. This is this my color? <laughs> Come on. Don't try to make this fun, Nat. My will to live meter is flatlining, okay? I can Arnim Zola. I can intervene. I could save the multiverse and so many, many lives. This is pointless. Wait. What? 
<laughs> Don't sit down. Get up. Get up. Come on. You're human. You keep hope against the worst of odds. The answer is right there. We're gonna find it. It just takes time. What are we going to avenge when we're 90? You're frustrated. I get it. I'm not frustrated. I'm not. I'm tired. No way. You're gonna feel like a real jerk for almost quitting. Wait, stop it! That... you found it? That was my box. An old Hydra base. That was my box. Zola. They did it. Did they? They really did it. There's still hope. Oh no. Holy I crap. You do not have to do this. Oh, but it's my purpose. Holy shit. Scans. The one Rogers and I found at Camp Lehigh was destroyed. The other, Hydra kept here to supervise oh. the Russian super soldier program. Oh, this sounds like a real mensch. Mensch. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Barton Clinton Francis. Francis? Really? Francis? I not know that? It's a family name after my Mima. Don't you worry about it. Your Mima? Mima. Hydra's dead. S.H.I.E.L.D.'s dead. Actually, pretty much everyone else is dead. Courtesy of an AI called Ultron. You're the last surviving Zola copy left on Earth. And I've ruined a lot of laptops this ooh, time. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. What exactly did you have in mind? Whoops. <laughs> you might feel a little poke here, or not. I don't really get how you work. Download commencing. He will not be the first genocidal megalomaniac I have had to contend with, yeah? What if he teams up with him? What if he teams up with him? Torture. Oh, there we go. Ah, the shield. Now we're in the game. What was that for? Look, just for caution, in case you want to try anything funny. Your team building instincts need work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The Ultron Hive mind appears to be out of range. Oh. That door's not gonna hold. Do you have any explosive arrows? Oh. Oh, I thought they were gonna get shredded. You're so close to the end. No shot. He's alive. Sorry, Natasha. Did you send him back? Oh, damn. Maybe should have intervened earlier. All those wounds, all that suffering, and you just watched. I swore an oath. I cannot exert my will in the natural order of things. I cannot intervene. But he can. You lack the will to stop. Me. Whoa. You cannot compute the power of my will. Wow. Crashing through you. This is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. What the heck? He just chomped down on a universe? A galaxy? He's president? Oh, man. What the heck? He ran away. No one. Damn. Damn. Intervene. Bring Arnim Zola. Oh. Damn. This is awesome. Are you ready to break your oath? I see now. I need your help. 
Watcher, I've come to bargain. Ah, uh, Clint. Man, they're so close. Or, they're closer than they've ever been. I think this is the most hyped I've been for the show yet, just because everything is coming together now. Uh, I can't imagine that Doctor Strange is going to be the only person he recruits. So this Doctor Strange is the only one we've actually seen interact with the Watcher other than Ultron. So maybe this Doctor Strange is the only one who can help take down Ultron. But at the same time, I would love to see Captain Carter again. And Star-Lord? I would love to see Star-Lord. Not, not Chris Pratt, Mario Star-Lord, but T'Challa Star-Lord. Uh, but is it possible that Chadwick Boseman recorded just one more episode for us? That would be fantastic. Uh, I have to wonder though, uh, what were Wakanda's capabilities with nuclear deterrence? I know they have to be connected to the net, I'm sure, but did they survive the nuclear warfare and then lose to Ultron later? Uh, I don't know, but yeah, eventually Thanos came and Ultron sliced him open in a second, which why couldn't Vision have done that in Infinity War? Would have saved us a lot of pain. And I guess Ultron tapped into the Mind Stone in a way Vision never did, never could. And uh, yeah, apparently after he took in all the Infinity Stones, it gave him some sort of knowledge. We haven't seen that be the case before, but I mean, it's Ultron, he's built different. So yeah, thanks a lot, Tony. God damn it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't realize how lucky we were in Age of Ultron, the movie, to steal the cradle from a Ultron. Uh, avoided a freaking catastrophe. Wow. Uh, but yeah, uh, in this universe, in this episode, Captain Marvel just came way too late. Honestly, in the movie, Fury should have called her, like, right away. And things had gone just way too far. And to see how close we were to the brink, to losing everything, yeah, Captain Marvel should have been called in so much sooner. And in this episode, for her to come so many years later to find him on Xandar when he already has all the stones, she put up a fight, but eventually was killed too. I'm not sure I knew if she could be killed or not, but... I mean, we saw her, like, take a hit from Thanos like it was nothing. Um, but yeah, Ultron eventually just blew up a freaking solar system to take her out. And, uh, yeah. Uh, it feels like we're very screwed. But, yeah, I wonder if it's possible to get a bunch of Captain Marvels from the multiverse to come together and attack Ultron together. Because that seems like the pretty much the only thing that could uh, stop this from happening. Um, could Also, could Ultron pull a Kang? Because, like... Are there different uh, multiverse, different strands of the multiverse out there where he wins and uh, starts traveling to different parts of the multiverse? And will they start fighting each other for supremacy, or will they team up and become even more unstoppable with more sets of Infinity Stones? Oh my God, this is <laughs> this is not good. Uh, but yeah, once Ultron silenced his own universe, and the nar the the Watcher was narrating for us. He was saying Ultron became aware of another and. Ultron heard him. It's just, it's just so meta. And <laughs> like, this is why you don't talk behind other people's backs, by the way. Uh, but yeah, that was really, really terrifying. The Watcher, who was always just so calm and collected, panicking like that, seeing him panic. He's seen entire universes get snuffed out. But in that moment, he felt so much fear. And uh, honestly, I'm kind of sad now that Age of Ultron, the movie, didn't lean into some more horror elements because, yeah, Ultron's freaking terrifying. Uh, but the Watcher puts his faith in Clint Barton and Natasha Romanoff and Arnim Zola, which, yeah, um, it feels like they came very, very close to getting it right. But uh, speaking of Clint Barton, though, he's kind of incredible in this universe as an animated character. Uh, we've never seen him be this badass before, uh, making me kind of look forward to his show later this year. Uh, we know he's always been like pinpoint accurate, but does his metal arm help him at all? Uh, is that why he's able to shoot so many arrows in a row so quickly and have them all hit their target? Because uh, we've seen him be accurate before, but never unleash that many arrows in a row. Um, yeah, we've it, it was kind of uh, really, really cool to watch. And then he has an invisibility cloak. Um, but yeah, there at the end, Clint committing suicide. That was hard to watch. And the way he fell after Natasha was trying to save him, mirror image of what happened with the Soul Stone in our universe, uh, with Natasha falling instead. And uh, yeah, it was a really, really beautiful shot of him falling towards the Ultron bot bots. Uh, really, really gorgeous. But yeah, Clint was tired of fighting. Um, it's really sad because, I mean, he leaves Natasha to do all of this alone. And I mean, assuming they were the only ones with the luck and skill to survive a nuclear winter, they were going to be the only option to continue the human race, right? But I guess, yeah, like losing his family was too much. 
we see how it inf- affected him and we saw how it affected him in Endgame when he became Ronin. And um, we actually don't know how long he's been at this with Natasha in this episode. So, I mean, Age of Ultron ha- came out in 2015 and Infinity War came out in 2018. So assuming that this followed the same timeline, three years between Age of Ultron and between uh, when Thanos arrived on Earth, um, it was at least three years. And then how- plus however long it took Ultron to create peace in our universe by destroying almost all of civilization uh so he's been at it for a while and just uh, he's tired and so so tired Uh, but regardless of how long it's been he just doesn't want it to go on the pain he's living through is just too much and uh yeah he commits suicide and takes out the ultron bots to let natasha escape but now natasha is all alone not not just on the planet in the entire universe everybody's gone uh, even if the Watcher succeeds in taking down Ultron, somehow with Doctor Strange, she's alone. And, I mean, alone in the whole entire universe. I mean, I guess she has Arnim Zola to keep him her company, but he he's a Nazi. And at this point, he's a computer program. So what is there for, left for her to do except die? That's really tragic, actually. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're going to continue the, this in the next episode, which is so hype. I'm glad there's finally... Things that are getting strung together, uh, storylines getting strung together because, yeah, uh, I enjoyed this show so far, but it didn't, it felt like it needed a bigger story and I wanted things to continue uh, beyond a single episode. And uh, it's interesting though, because last episode, the Watcher noticed Ultron uh, coming to Thor's universe and was surprised. And yet we see uh, him be fully aware of what's happening with Ultron in this episode. So, uh, these are two different watchers. So I, I have to imagine like the different watchers can come together and maybe team up to def- defeat Ultron too. I don't know, but uh, we do know that there is more than one watcher based on the post credit scene, or I don't know if it's mid credits or post credit scene in guardians of the galaxy Two. Uh, Stan Lee was talking to a bunch of watchers. So uh, yeah, there's, there's some options that we have. I think we'll see how it turns out. I, I, I'm very curious how uh, about Clint Barton now, because we've seen him, at his previous low in Endgame, and now here in this episode is a new low. And right now, in our universe, he's happier, um, but he's going to be dragged back into the fray by Yelena. So I think this episode of What If actually made me much more interested in Hawkeye and as a, as a character and in his show as well. So yeah, this is the most I've liked Hawkeye maybe ever. So uh, looking forward to that and looking forward to how they wrap up this series in the next two episodes, this Ultron storyline. It's so good. I was hoping for more Ultron because it felt like they got rid of him so quickly in just that one movie. But uh, now we get some more. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like. really helps with the channel. Full reaction on Patreon in the link in the description below. And uh, over here or here, I'm going to put Raiders of the Lost Ark just because it was mentioned in this movie. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye, friends.